All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Issachar coming back at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makwak Vadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Okay, in today's lesson, Akyam, we're going to get into, you know, trusting and believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you have to let, you got to let everything go. Okay, you, you got to leave it all behind. You know, you got to put all your trust and faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Our Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, He wants to hear us. He wants us to call on His name. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to get right into it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 44, and verse 4. Thou, <clears throat> thou art my king, O Most High. Command deliverance for Jacob. Who is Jacob? You know, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You guys make up. We, we make up of the 12 tribes, okay? The Hebrew Israelites, all right? Verse 5, through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. See that? Through thy name. So that name is important. We need that name. Verse 6, I will, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. You hear that, Akim? So, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, all of our enemies that hate us, the Lord's going to put them all to shame in these last times. They're going to be in a pitiful case. Verse 8 In the Most High, we boast all the day long and praise. Thy name forever. Salah. See that? It's all about praising that name. See that, Akim? That, that name is, is very, very important. Okay? So when people tell you, oh, that name is not important. You need that name. It, it's very, very important. Okay, so now we're going to jump to the book of St. John. Okay, St. John. In John chapter 14 and verse 12. Alright. Let's go into you know, spiritual power. St. John chapter 14 verse 12. This is red letter. Okay. Our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he... The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. You see that up? So you have by Shim Yahweh Shai, you know, he he prays for us. Okay, he's he's right here with us. Okay. And you see that? Because he goes up, he goes up and he he, he prays for us. All right, our big, our Lord, our King, our big brother, Yahweh Shai, he, he prays for us. All right, he goes, he goes to the throne, to Yahweh, you know, and he, and he praises for, and he prays for us. Just as we, you know, we pray for him, you know, ourselves and the elect, okay, in our household. Okay, it's all one body. All right, St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. And he and he said unto them, I beheld, <clears throat> I beheld, I beheld Satan as lightning fall fall from heaven. Okay, Saint Luke chapter ten and eighteen. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Okay, that's Esau. Okay, the so-called white man. I right, we're, we're we're watching. 
the downfall of his kingdom. Okay? His kingdom is 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 at the end. Yahweh Shim Shai and the angels are tearing this place up from the inside out. Okay, verse 19. Behold, I gave unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. See that out? Nothing. Verse 20, not with, Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. See that, Akim? So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is saying, don't rejoice because the spirits are subjected under the elect, under us. He's saying, rather rejoice, okay, because your names are written in heaven. All right, verse 21. In that hour, Yahweh Shai rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. And has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father Yahweh, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Okay, because yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, he, he didn't give this wisdom, you know, to these preachers and to these kings and rulers. No. He gave he gave it to his his elect, the meek. Okay, the Lord the the poor, the lowly. Okay. That's what Yahweh Shai is saying, you know, because he didn't he didn't give you know this knowledge to none of these you know, these high rulers and these politicians. They don't have it. Okay. We're gonna jump to Isaiah forty one and eight. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, who I ha whom I have chosen. The seed of Abraham, my friend. See that? So who have the Most High chosen? Israel, Yasharala. Okay, he is a prince of the power because we're the sons of God. 41 and 9. Isaiah 41 and 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. See that, Akia? So he has not cast us away. He's here with us. All you have to do is believe and have faith. Faith is, is much more precious than silver and gold. Okay? Especially in these latter times. All right? The Most High is testing you to see, do you believe? Do you truly believe on me? All right? Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Yahweh Shai. See that? He's saying he's with us. Behold, all they that were incest against thee shall be ashamed. And confounded, they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Okay, so all of our enemies, the angels are recording every last one of them. They're all on reserve. They're all going to go out in shameful deaths. Isaiah 41 and 12. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. So you help Bashim Yahushai saying, don't worry about our enemies. Don't worry about these scoffers, you know. These people, you know, they want to laugh and all that. You help Bashim Yahushai saying that, don't worry about that. He's going to make them as nothing because he's going to burn everybody up through the missiles and through the lasers from the ships. So we got nothing to worry about, Akim, because we know their latter end. Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. 
fear not thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, said the Lord, Yehovah Shimiel Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Can you see that? The Most High Yehovah, the Son Yehovah Shai, is calling us worms. Why is he calling us worms? Because we're defenseless over here on this side. Okay? We're, and he knows that we're still in captivity and we're defenseless. All we have is is this hope, you know, and faith. You know, we're prisoners of hope. But Yahweh Shai is saying, fear not. Okay? That he's going to help us. Verse 15. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. And shall make his hills as chaff. Okay, you see that, Akiyam? He's saying, he, he, so he's gonna, he's gonna give his men the hundred forty-four thousand spiritual power on this side. Okay, thou shalt thresh the mountains, meaning the governments. Okay, and all these, all these kings and rulerships, you know. You know the Most High right now, Yehovah Shem Shai, he has his fishers right now fishing for the elect. Okay, but Jeremiah 16 and 16, he's going to turn them into hunters. Okay, and we're going to go hunting. Okay, and we're going to go hunt all the, all the wicked. Go get them out of their underground bunkers. Okay, because they cannot hide. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. Yehovah Shem Yahushai, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, Yehovah Shem Yahushai, will hear them. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. You see that, Akio? I mean, that's deep right there. That's heavy. Okay? <clears throat> Our Lord's clearly telling us, don't worry about it. Don't worry about nothing. Relax. Okay, I'm right here. The angels are all around us. Okay? We just got to have, we got to have our faith. You know, we got to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, to the best of our capability. All right? We're going to jump to Psalms, chapter 110. Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness. From the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. See that? Saying that most of these people, you know, who are laughing, you know, making fun of us now, in the day of the power, they're going to want to get down with this thing, you know? That's what the Lord's saying right here, that, you know, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay, so once they see that, once they see the spiritual power, okay, and the miraculous miracles, then they're going to want to get down with this thing. Okay, but it's going to be too late. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to say, I know you not. Okay? Psalms 118 and 5. Psalms 118 and 5. I called upon the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord Yehovah Shem Shai is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord Yehovah Shem Shai than to put confidence in men. See that? It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. It is better to trust in the Lord, Yehovah Shem Shai, than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, Yehovah Shem Shai, will I destroy them. They compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, Yehovah Shem Shai, I will destroy them. See, so there's power in that name, okay, and it's it's a blessing to us. It's our salvation. But it's it's dreadful upon our enemies and these heathen. Verse 12. Psalms 118 and 12. They compass me 
about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, I will destroy.